Bonjour, my friends. I'm Frankie, and welcome to Club Foodie. We love picnics. They're fun and give a nice change of scenery. They just need a bit of organization. So, all the dishes are prepped the day before, and the next morning, we pack the cooler, grab the blanket, and off we go. This featured recipe is perfect for picnics, as well as backyard parties, potlucks, and so on. In today's episode, I'll show you how to make my Moroccan potato salad. Mmm, yum, yum. This dish is packed with tons of flavor. Made with sweet potatoes and red potatoes, along with a shimula mayo, this is a deliciously different way to enjoy potato salad. So, my friends, let's get cooking. Here are the potatoes we'll be using. Yukon gold that have been scrubbed and sweet potatoes that have been peeled and cut into roughly the same size as the Yukon so they all cook evenly. Next, we'll put them in a large pot along with a teaspoon of coarse sea salt. If you prefer yours saltier, simply add more. We'll cover them with cold water and set the heat to high. When it starts boiling, we'll set the timer for 10 minutes. We want them for tender with a slight resistance. About 9 to 10 minutes later, we'll check to see if they're done. The sweet potatoes were exactly the way I wanted. Cooked just enough so they still hold their shape. On the other hand, the Yukon needed more time, another 5 minutes or so. So we'll scoop out the sweet potatoes to a bowl and leave the Yukon gold behind. Then we'll drain these guys in a colander before transferring them to a cutting board. While they're still warm, we'll cut them into bite-sized pieces, just like we do for a regular potato salad, before transferring them to a large baking sheet lined with foil. We'll spread them out evenly so they cool off faster and season with ground sea salt and crack some black pepper on top. Then we'll set them aside while we repeat the same steps with our Yukon potatoes. Drain, cut them into bite-sized pieces, transfer to a baking sheet, spread them out, season them with salt and pepper, and let them cool off as well. When both get to room temperature, We'll transfer them to the fridge for at least a couple hours. About 15 minutes before we take the potatoes out, we'll start making the shimula. In the jar of a blender, we'll add fresh parsley, freshly squeezed lemon juice, some lemon zest, a large clove of garlic, then harissa powder, smoked paprika, razal hanout, ground cumin, which is my favorite spice, ground coriander, a little bit of ground sea salt, of course, freshly ground black pepper, and finally, some extra virgin olive oil. Then we'll place the lid and process the ingredients on medium speed until well blended, stopping to clean the sides of the jar. Next, in a medium bowl, we'll add mayo. If you want to know how to make it from scratch, simply click on the top right corner of your screen to get the recipe. To this, we'll add our little spice mixture, stir until everything is well mixed, don't forget to taste and adjust if necessary, and set aside. Alright, so we'll take the potatoes out of the fridge. By the way, I prepped mine last night, so I don't have too much to do this morning and transfer them to a large bowl. To this, we'll add red peppers, green onions, and dried raisins, which is an ingredient used often in Moroccan cuisine. We'll stir to blend the ingredients and oh my, look at the colors! Isn't it appetizing or what? Mmm! 
We'll now add our shimula mayo and gently stir until the ingredients are well coated. We'll cover and transfer to the fridge until ready to serve. And my friends, this is our Moroccan potato salad. What an amazing combination of tasty ingredients. It's easy to make and definitely a great new take on potato salad. Delicious, colorful and packed with flavor. This is a side dish everyone will love. I hope you give it a try soon and be sure to visit CuffWoody.com for ingredient amounts, directions and more info. Until next time my friends, bon appétit!